I'm going to do another little, um, little look tackle lot that I've just brought. Um, last video went down quite well. I caught a bit, but thought it was uh, quite funny and um, got, got something out of it. So yeah, doing another one. I've actually bought two lots. This one is the first one. I uh, bought this off a of fish hunter just a minute ago. Uh, uh, this is as you see it, as I see it. Um, that quick look, obviously. Bag of uh, bag of boat sliders, bag boat booms, they'll be alright, just chuck them on the boat, everyone can use them. Um, line. Um, there's a bit on there, a bit of shock leader. I like this grease weasel stuff, it's, it's um, good, it's not a lot on there, but I can get a couple of rigs out of it. Um, this is good. This stuff, there's quite a bit on there. Happy days. Amnesia. Yeah, it's quite a bit on there, 25 pound amnesia, so yeah. That's all right. I'll use that. Um, a little knife. It's quite a nice little knife. Really. I don't know why it's got serrated edge like that though. I don't know what that's about, but it's all right. This thing is horrible. I, just, I don't know why, but just looking at it, it makes me cringe. Look, it's like a, I don't know. It's like a murder weapon, doesn't it? Like someone's dug it up in the back garden or something. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, I don't like it. it. Just makes me feel. Just makes me feel like horrible. I don't know about you, but just horrible, horrible. Um, oh, I think I got a couple of a uh, couple of cheapy, cheapy old old weights that I'll just chuck in the scrap bin. Um, it's not a bad, not a bad little wig wallet that. Um, got the pockets there. Right. Sorry, mate. Trying to do it. Trying to do this one-handed while holding my phone. There's nothing in there. Nothing in there. Um, excuse me, teeth. Uh, what have we got here? Rubbish. Um, yeah, a couple of beach rigs. Three, three up loot rig, two up loot rig, two up loot rig. I probably won't ever use them. But I know someone who will, so they can go to him. Yeah, what other rigs we got in here? Ooh. Oh dear. <laughs> Look at them. Yeah, they have uh, well past their sell by date. I don't know why people do it. Like, I, I, I can see you using a rig body again, but I always cut off the hooks because one, they make you put them back in there and they rust and they make your rig, rig wallet all go rusty again. And two, I would never want to reuse a hook after you've used it. I mean, that's all rusty. That's, you catch a decent fish on that, it's just going to snap. But look at the state of that. Look at the state of it. I would never use it. Like, it's for the sake of pence. It's pence. Why, why just, just cut the hooks off? Bin, put them in a bin, don't cut the hooks off and chuck them on the beach like everyone else seems to do. Put them in a bin, safely in a bin, in, in, in a, in a, wrap them up in toilet roll or something like that, or put them in a, in a lemonade bottle, cut them a water bottle, something like that. Don't put them in a bin for the bin men to get a d dirty hook in their leg or something like that. But yeah, just I can't see why you would keep a, keep a, a second hand hook. It just goes against everything. Or some, um, Stainless, stainless hooks. Well, yeah, I won't use them. More of them. Must have got them cheap. Swivels. I need some swivels. Um, they're all right. A few beads. I hate it when people do that. You think, oh, there's a nice box of hooks there. Look, two of them. Two of them in there. Um, yeah, nice little box. I'll probably keep that box. Put that with my bits and put it in the bottom of the little box. Um, this one's a bit bigger. It's got a bit more gear in it. Um, start up here. What have we got here? What are they? Booms. Like boat booms. Two packs. Three packs. So three packs per hour. These. They, they're good for the boat, these are. Um, Spread of booms. Brilliant for the whiting. Um, if you see my last video on the boat, went with, went with Roy. He, he he uses these for his for his spreader booms, like catching white and free at a time. I might actually make a um, video of uh, 
or making one of these a spreader boom for the for the boat if you want to catch what if you're interested in that sort of thing. Um, dodgy old beads. I remember we used to fish with these. Look at the size of them, they're huge. Um, hooks. Some more hooks. Two packs. These are right. I used to use these. I remember using these as a kid. I used to buy them from the Angler's Den. Um, are they bait holders? No, they're not bait holders. No, there they are, they're bait holders. They're bait holder works because, um, let's see if I can get one out a little bit. So they've got little, see little barbs, focus. they got little, can't really see them. They've got little barbs on the back of the, on the shank of the hook. Um, there, see that? Little, little barbs on the shank of the hook that hold your bait, hold your worms. They're alright for when you're fishing single worms. Like these ones ain't got them. They're just straight ones. The bait holder works, alright. These are better. These are my sort of beads. These little, little, the glowing little oval beads. They're better. That's why I like making rigs out of two packs of them. Happy days. Um, crimps. There's a lot of crimps in there. That's cool. And they've got the crimping, crimping tool, little, little pair of crimping pliers to go with them. That's Christy, that'll do. Um, what are these? Cascade swivels. These are nice hooks. They're similar to the uh, very vast hooks. Um, a few seasons before, they're quite strong. Um, yeah, not bad. Nice hooks. They're better than they're better than them poiky ones. Um, more of the old claw points. No pack of claw points. No pack of them. Poiky. Mm. I think that's how you pronounce it. Poiky. Epidemics. What are these? Tronics Pro. I'm, I'm sorry, look. Tronics Pro. I, I, whenever I see that name, I just, just take my doubts. I, just, I don't know. Enough of that. But yeah, another pack of books. They're alright. Um, I'm just bait elastic. If you ever wonder, wondering why my hands are so dirty, I've been at work, but I've used enough. I'm painting the boat in a minute and it's all rusty, so I used a rust preserver. And it got it on my hands and um, it's just like, it's like, eating into my hands and I've scrubbed it, I can't get nothing, I've used thinners, everything trying to get it off. It's made my hands go all dry, so I'm gonna put some um, put some of the missus' hand hand cream on it I suppose in a minute. It's actually stinging a little bit. Bless me, eh? Bless me. What are these in here? Oh they're cool. Little fine wire um little fine wire. I don't know what size they are because the label's gone off of them but I'll get out of the box. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Yeah, they're pretty cool. Where is it? There it's gone. They're quite a nice look. They're ideal for, uh, for the white in and dabs, I suppose. Because they're fine wire, they, um, the, f the, fish hooks, the fish takes the hook down. Um, another pack there. Fish takes the hook down. They, they bend out quite easy, so you, you can save quite a few few fish. Like the way that the, the white are feeding at the minute, they're just sort of the peaks and they're engulfing the hooks, taking them right down. With the stronger hooks, you, you struggle to get them out of the fish. And you can damage the fish getting them out. With them little fine wire things, you put a bit of weight on them, they bend out and they uh, usually come out better than the other ones. What are these? They're not bad hooks. I think it's just Aberdeen's they are in a. Mustard box. I don't actually think they're mustard hooks, but be right. Make a few rigs out of them. Um, look at these. Yeah, these. They, you buy these cheap by the hundred. I don't know how strong they are. I'm actually making a um, like a, a little puller. Um, I tested I tested um, Seaglow's new link. Absolutely strong they were. I think it's something like. I don't know, I can't remember what it was now, but if you watch the video you'll see, but they are, they're amazingly strong. So I'm gonna, I, you can buy these so cheap, but I don't know actually like how how well they fish, where they bend out or anything. So I, I, I will do a couple of videos of these, I'll, I'll, I'll put a few of these up, do like sort of tug of war. I'm not going to call it a test, I'm just going to call it a little fun experiment, because I don't want to um, slate people's tackle off or something like that, because they're not getting in trouble. But yeah, I'm going to, um, I'll do that, I'll just do a little pull test, a little, little, Paul experiment rather, Paul experiment. See what they um, see what they bend out at, just so we know. Because I, I, mean, I, I wouldn't use them. I wouldn't use them because I don't know what the strength of them is. So uh, we test a few. 
before we find out. What have we got in here? Um, springs, sequins. Um, hate these things. Absolutely hate them. They're horrible. What have we got in here? More springs. That's a proper. That is. That's the best. Best. That's the best bait kit you can get. They're brilliant, they are. The old imp. Can't beat them. Uh, tip lights for the end of your rod, which I don't use. What's this in here? Oh, look, bag of swivels. I said I needed some of them. Christy Koo. Again, no. These might be like a cheap version, like a cheap Chinese made thing. I know everything's made in China, but you know what I mean. You can buy these by the hundred cheaply. I'll do a little. Do a little pull test on them before I use them. Yeah, just, just to make just for peace of mind, mind I suppose, rather than anything else. That's about it, really. Um, yeah, paid forty quid for this lot. I think. I think it was forty quid. Um, yeah, I don't know. That's got to be worth. I don't know how much they are to buy in a tackle shop, but I'll use that. I could do with another one. Make up a few rigs. So I'll probably do that. I'll probably make up a few rigs out of this. And. Um, Get rid of the rest, sell the rest, I suppose, see what money I can get back. But the main thing was really was making another video, so happy days, I hope you like it. Um I love buying tackle, I love buying going through other people's tackle boxes and everything like I said before. So um if I can it's just just don't know what's in there, don't know what you're gonna find, do you? Anyway, right, cheers. Like and subscribe please.